Hey everyone, it's Jeff here um, doing a video on my honing station. Thought I'd show you some of the stones that I'm working with right now, how I have it organized, where I'm doing my work, and uh, I don't know, give, get some feedback from you guys or maybe have some of you all show me where you're working, where you're getting your work done. But uh, as far as what I'm working with, I've got the Norton 4K 8K combo here. Um, uh, this is more or less a mystery stone. I don't know what it is and I rarely use it. I've got a Washita stone. That's an Arkansas type stone. I also have this mystery stone. Uh, it's a combination synthetic. A Dan's Whetstone translucent. This is a two by eight inch translucent Arkansas. And another Dan's Whetstone. This is a two inch by eight inch surgical black. Um, I have over here my Cirax uh, 1K bevel set stone that I keep soaking down here. I really like that Cirax a lot. My 4K stone is a Naniwa Gukin. My 8K is the Naniwa Fuji. I have a JNAT from Chef Knives to Go. Okay, this is the um, Azuku Asagi Kopa stone. It's uh, more or less a an olive green color. It's a nice stone. It's about the size of my hand. You can get those on chef knives to go. Um, up here I have my Escher with label intact. Cool stone. I get fantastic edges off of that stone. I have a couple of other Thuringians here as well. So this one uh, is a little green Thuringian bout that just gets excellent edges with this stone. I mean, really, really good. Um, this blue one, I haven't had a whole lot of success with, but in part, that's my fault for not working with it more uh, than I should, okay? Uh, these are two more Thuringian belts that I own that I got uh, from a friend who sold them to me and I mean these are just excellent stones. Uh, they're, they're odd shaped so it makes honing with them a little bit of a challenge. But I can go from bevel set off of a 1K to these stones and come away with a little bit of time and some work with a fantastic shaving edge. Really, really fun, good stones. All right, there's the underside of them. Pretty cool, there's the saw marks. And for any of you guys who are out there looking for stones in the wild, at your flea markets and antique shops, if you don't know what you're looking at and you see a stone that has saw marks like that and it's cheap, buy it. It's probably a good finishing stone. So those are my Thuringians. Uh, over here, I also have this stone that I recently acquired. It's what I believe to be a, um, I think that is a Tam O Shanter. Look at the freckling on that. Pretty cool. Okay, I take a razor to an 8K and then slurry the stone, do about 50 laps. Again, look at the uh, saw marks. Do about 50 laps and the edge I get from this stone is somewhere between a JNAT in terms of keenness and a Thuringian uh, yielding. It's, it'll yield like a, like a Thuringian. It's not creamy like a Thuringian, but has that same sort of face feel, I guess. Uh, three codicles that I have, two from eBay, one from Marketplace. All of them are mounted, glued to a Belgian bluestone on the bottom. Here's another Thuringian that I bought recently. I actually picked this one up at a uh, antique shop this month, um, 2019, June. Look at the colors on that. This is a Drescher, a Drescher stone. This is a type of Thuringian. I believe Escher, the same Escher here, mined these and sold them in the States. I could be wrong about that. But that is a Drescher stone with slurry stone and the original box. I have the lid too. But uh, 
taking this stone with slurry, watering it down, finishing on soapy Dawn dishwater. Excellent, excellent edges. It's a lot of fun, a great stone, enjoying it a lot. Um, finally, I have, uh, this stone is a Rosatech, which was gifted to me and a stone that I just haven't used as much as I should. I haven't given myself the time, I guess, or haven't made the time to learn this stone, but um, probably in the eight to 10K range, I would guess. Um, and much like a Arkansas stone, this is one hard stone, extremely hard, extremely, extremely hard stone. Um, also in my honing den, a 16K loop, can't stress enough how important it is to have a way to inspect your edges. And for me, this loop is a great loop. And I bought it at a jewelry store. Or no, it wasn't a jewelry store. It was a um, coin ho uh, hobby shop. It's a 16X loop by Harris. H.B. Harris, I think. 16X. Excellent loop. If you don't have one, buy one. They're 10 bucks. 3M tape scissors, pencils to mark my stones uh, whenever I need to lap them. Okay. Of course, I have two lapping plates down here. One is a Chinese $20 special from eBay that came with the stone holder. This one is from Chef Knives to Go. It's more like $40 or $50 came with the stone holder. Of the two, I like this one much, much better. For one, it's wider, it's bigger slightly bigger. Um, they both rust. This one I've only had for a year. This one I've had for three years. And I can't even use the 1000 side of this any longer because it rusted so bad. Um, this one does rust as well, but it's just performs better in my opinion. I like it better and it's cheaper. Highly recommend them. You can get them. You can get the plate on eBay for about five bucks. You want to get the holder with it. You're going to spend about 20 or 25. Uh, oh, yeah, I've also uh, glued down this. This is a one by six. I glued this down to my sink, so I actually have a bit of a workstation, which I like a lot. But uh, my utility sink is just really, um, you know, critical for me to hone and wash down my slurry off my slurry stones. To have that is just, for me, key. I love being able to hone with um, that hose. So... The hose is, you know, probably you'd get one of those at your hardware store and screwed on to your um, utility sink uh, spigot and just a garden sprayer, okay? Of course, I have a soaker over here. This is just a little bucket where I can keep my soaking stones wet all the time. Um, I have some lubricants up here, silicone spray uh, that I like to use on my Arkansas stones and actually motor oil that I've used on my Arkansas stones. Um, I organize all of my stones with this piece of closet made shelving. This is uh, shelving that you would find at a Home Depot or a Lowe's. It's 16 inches wide. You get it in a four foot section. I cut it down into about two feet and then bent it on uh, basically a 45 degree angle just over the corner. Actually, I think I placed it on the corner of my, uh, my sink here and just bent it. Okay. So it sits, it sits like that and kind of keeps all my stones nicely organized. A little bit of a tip. Of course, uh, I go through a lot of paper towels, which are handy right there. And uh, over here on this side are my strops, where um, as I'm honing and I'm checking my edges, uh, strop and make sure that you know, I have a way of being able to strop. So this is my fire hose strop right here. And then two leather strops that were made for me um, by Dave's Leather. And Dave's uh, daughter, Leslie Wanchak, is a member of the Wet Shave, Wet Shave Room on Facebook. And um, Dave makes great leather strops. And he's a veteran, so I'd like to support him. But uh, yeah, he made these two strops for me. This one is a Latigo, black Latigo strop. And the other one is a Cordovan colored bridal leather. And then, uh, of course, my, my fire hose drop. Fire hose drop right there. So, anyways, guys, that was uh, 10 minutes. Just a brief tour of my honing den and everything that, uh, that I use. I don't think I missed anything. 
and then I got my cauticals there. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I have three of those cauticle stones. Um, I'm still learning and spray bottle. Uh, what else can I say? That's it. Anyway, I hope that helps out some of you guys. It gives you a little bit of a peek into my honing den where I do my work. And uh, that's it. All right, guys. See ya.